So, placements. We all want them, we all want more of them. A lot of people don't really know where to start when it comes to getting placements and sending out beats. So today's video is gonna be all about getting placements, um, what's detrimental or beneficial to your success when it comes to getting placements, and just kind of my take on everything. Obviously, I'm no expert, I'm no super multi-platinum Grammy-nominated producer or anything, but I have started to get a lot of major placements, and I'm just gonna be sharing with y'all my personal tips that have helped me and that I think will greatly help anybody watching this video if they're trying to get more placements and just get their foot in the door so this video is gonna have two parts the first part is gonna be like what you need to do in your beats to increase your chances of getting placements with your beats and I know that's been done like a hundred times on YouTube so if you already know all the basics when it comes to your beats I'll leave a timestamp so you can skip to the part where I actually start talking about my personal tips and what I think will help a lot of people watching the video but yeah if you guys are not already please go drop me a follow on Instagram and Twitter at Kyle Stemberger. and also after you watch this video if you enjoy it. be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future uploads and yeah with all that being said let's go ahead and get into this video all right so when it comes to your beats um the golden rule here pretty much is to keep things simple and keep things interesting so i have this melody from uh my romeo melody kit i just put out it's got 27 loops in it so what's cool about this loop is it has like a ton of different switch ups in it so at the beginning it has this real spacey guitar then it goes to this crazy, like, wonky part. And then it has just the little bell key thing. So my point with that is when it comes to your melody, uh, make sure you have multiple layers on your melody so that it doesn't get too repetitive and you can take things out, bring more things in, like take an A to weight out, bring a sub bass in, just things like that that make the beat more interesting so the artist just doesn't get bored of hearing the beat. So when it comes to the drums, I have two examples here. So the first one is pretty much what not to do. So as you can see, it's so repetitive. I don't change anything. It's just a four bar loop. I just copied and pasted and the drums are mixed horribly the levels are all messed up and they're really busy so here's what it sounds like so as you can tell the snare is just way too loud the kick's too quiet the 808 is like kind of out of key so this pretty much does not sound good to anybody unless you're on like every drug there is so just to show you all the difference that this really makes um here's the original drums i played and then here's the drums dumbed down and in key and everything and something i also did is on the second half of the hook um I took out the kick to kind of switch it up and then I just like gassed up the hi-hats a little bit added some low notes added a couple of rolls not too much though a thing that I keep in mind when I'm making my beats is just making sure that the beat could be sang on it could be rapped on it could be like sang rap on you know what I'm saying just make sure that there's just enough space in it but there's not so much space in it that sounds empty also of course make sure your 808s are in key uh pretty much just follow the root note of the melody just trust your ears you can pitch up the 808 a bunch and just make sure your 808 is following the melody correctly as you can hear it's just following the root note so that's pretty much it when it comes to the beats uh, just make sure you keep things real simple make sure everything's in key and make sure there's enough space for the artist to do whatever they want all right so to move on to things outside of your beats that i think will really help you get placements the first topic i want to touch on is going to be collaboration i know a lot of people are kind of scared of collaborating i don't know if scared is the right word but they just don't want to give up a piece of their pie you know they want all the credit they want you know all the money it's not necessarily a bad thing i mean it's good to want to own your sound and you know have the whole pie instead of giving it out to all these other producers but i like to look at the situation this way so let's say you and other producer get a placement together chances are without that other producer the placement would have never even happened so honestly i'm fine with giving up a little bit of my percent to someone else that otherwise we would have never gotten if we never collaborated so yeah when it comes to finding somebody to collaborate with i think the best thing to do is find somebody you have like an authentic relationship with and also find somebody whose strengths are your weaknesses and vice versa so for example let's say you make 
really good drums like you're popping because of your drums all the artists want to work with you because of your drums but your melodies just suck and obviously the melodies are the first thing artists hear when they listen to a beat so they listen to your beats and they hear your melodies and they're like oh this guy's trash they don't even get a chance to hear your drum but where the other person comes into play whether that's just somebody that sent you melodies or a loop kit you bought either from me or Kingsway library or wave supply or anything like that you can get somebody else who's really good at making melodies and then make beats with their melodies and that will 100% get you way more placements and I guess you are giving up a percentage of your royalties and publishing and all that but honestly you get a placement and you also get somebody whose work you appreciate a placement with you and you do give up a small percent of your pie but without that person's melody you wouldn't have gotten the placement anyways so yeah that's why I think collaborating is just such a good part of production these days and it will definitely help you get a lot of placements that's actually how i got like 70 percent of my placements so definitely don't sleep on collaborating and working with other people all right so my next tip is going to be your brand i don't really think that's the best word but i can't really think of anything else when it comes to working with artists um what i've noticed is artists like to feel like they're working with a human like they like that connection and a lot of people's brand is very like businessy don't be afraid to show your face and be a human there are producers who've been successful without showing their face and being all out there like that like a few that come to mind is hamad beats he's done all kinds of stuff with trippy red q beats doesn't really show their face like that honest to god i am not a camera person i don't really like being in front of cameras like that but sure enough my youtube channel has literally changed my life i've met a ton of cool people through this and i've definitely expanded my brand a lot just by doing youtube pretty much you just need to be a human get your face out there don't be afraid to just be yourself and also when it comes to your name i would stay away from doing names like the beat god the beat master uh, just stuff like that i would just stick to using a nickname you could go by or even your real name if you can't think of anything yeah tip number two be a human all right so tip number three you gotta be confident in your work um, even I struggle with being a little insecure about my work sometimes, but honestly, almost every placement I've ever gotten has been from a loop or a beat that I didn't even think was that great. So my point with this is just don't be afraid to send stuff out, even if you think it's not the best. Obviously, wait until you're at that level where you can be getting placements, but don't be afraid to send stuff that you think the artist won't use because chances are the artist is looking for different stuff than everyone thinks they're looking for. So yeah, be confident in your work. Um, never be afraid to send stuff out because you never know uh, the beat you may think is one of your worst beats could be the biggest song in the world. Tip number four is gonna be how to correctly reach out to artists or other producers. So I'm gonna put y'all onto some sauce. What worked for me when I was trying to send out melodies to other producers is instead of just DMing them like, hey man, I got melodies for you, what's your email? or just DMing them yo or just something like that. Send them two or three screen recordings of your melodies and uh, make sure you press like the camera roll little icon and not the actual camera because if you do the camera then they have to accept the DM to see the video. But send them two or three screen recordings of your melody so they can hear them before they respond. And all you gotta say is something like, hey, my name is whatever, here's some of my melodies. I've worked with so and so and so and so and I really like your work. Um, if you want me to send a whole pack through, just let me know. Don't include like your phone number, your contact email, your business phone, like all that stuff. All you gotta do is hit them up and say, hey, here's some of my melodies. Um, let me know if you wanna work. I really appreciate your work. So obviously most of them will not respond because they just get flooded with DMs all day. But chances are a couple of them will actually respond and you'll get a chance to work with them. And you can use the same exact technique when it comes to DMing artists. Just send them a couple of screen recordings of your beats. Just say, hey, I'm a producer. I've worked with so-and-so and so-and-so. Here's a couple of beats. If you like them, want me to some more you know hit me back but yeah don't be afraid to hit bigger artists or producers up i think the most important thing when it comes to this is just being authentic like make sure it's someone that you really appreciate and want to work with and you're not just doing it for your own benefits it's pretty obvious when people are being organic and then when people just want to gain something from you so yeah just make sure you're being authentic and there's some sauce for you guys So to go ahead and wrap this whole thing up, I know it may sound like I'm kind of contradicting everything I just said, but you know, when it comes to placements, plaques, billboard charts, all that, at the end of the day, all of this is just material stuff and it doesn't really matter. So don't stress out too much if you're not getting placements or getting as successful as you think you should be. 
I know in this day and age, it's really easy to get on like social media and see all these placements and plaques other people are getting and be like, why am I not getting this? You know, maybe I'm just not good enough. I just think it's important to remain humble and just remember that all of this stuff could be here today and gone tomorrow. So those are my tips for getting more placements. Um, obviously there isn't one big secret that'll magically get you all the placements you want. But I honestly think that following these tips will 100% help you when it comes to getting more placements and just trying to get more into the industry. But yeah, if you guys got any more questions or anything, just leave them down in the comments below and I'll try and get back to as many of you guys as I can. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all learned something from my tips video. Uh, if you got any more video recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at Kyle Stenberger, and subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Catch y'all again soon. Peace.